Hi, this is Chris with Frugaloid, and uh, I'm going to give a quick demo on an application that we're about to release. Um, we haven't uh, released it to uh, the Android market yet, uh, but we anticipate that we will here shortly. So I wanted to uh, show you uh, everyone this application and get your feedback and uh, just you know gauge your general interest. There's the keyring icon. You can see it looks very similar to our A to B icon. That's our Frugaloid branding, I guess. Um, so launch the application. Uh, it basically gives you an empty home screen that says you haven't added a card yet, so just select the Add Card button below to begin. So select Add Card. Now it asks you a question. Uh, does your card have a barcode? Uh, yes or no? Uh, and the reason we ask this is because um, a lot of cards don't have barcodes. For example, like an American Airlines number. Um, it just has a number, just your frequent flyer number. It um, doesn't have a barcode on it. But a card like a Safeway card uh, does have a barcode and we want to recreate that. So there's different processes within the application on how we handle these scenarios. Uh, so for this example, uh, uh, let's go ahead and say yes it does have a barcode. So as soon as you select that it brings up the barcode scanner in our custom layout. Um, you can either scan the barcode or you can use a keypad uh, to select um, the barcode. You can, there's a drop down of all the available retailers uh, and then you can just simply type in the barcode number and we'll recreate it and save it for you. But for this case let's go ahead and scan it. So there's a scanner, here's the barcode. Scan the barcode. Now you can see uh, the barcode's been created. Um, now you just need to select uh, which retailer it is from the drop down. Now we we do present a, a limited list of retailers in the drop down based on the card that you've scanned, but it's not going to tell you exactly what it is. But instead of having to go through 300 cards, now you just have to go through a limited set. So this is a Safeway card. So there's the Safeway card. Go ahead and select it. Then just hit submit. Now go to the home screen and there's your card. Select the card and there it is. Now the biggest question that we get asked is uh, can you actually scan the barcode from the screen? Uh, and the answer is yes. It's not 100% accurate um, but when you use laser type scanners, at least handheld scanners and CCD scanners and image scanners it works very well. Um, so for this example I've got a, uh, a symbol LS2200 laser scanner. It's a typical uh, laser scanner that you would uh, see at um, I don't know, CVS for example. Um, so here we go. We've got uh, the barcode right there and I'm going to show you how it scans off the screen. There we go. Scan the barcode right off the screen. Now to give you an example of scanning the regular barcode, here's the uh, Safeway card. Scans it. The numbers match up perfectly. So there's your card. Now let's go back and there it is from the home screen. Now uh, let's say you want to add a card um, that doesn't have a barcode associated with it. Select Add Card. Does your card have a barcode? No. You have a list um, of retailers again from a drop down window of cards that do not have barcodes associated with them. For this example, let's do an American Airlines Advantage card. So there's the card. You can enter a special label for it. Um, you can add you know, multiple American Airlines numbers uh, to keyring. Uh, this is just a way of identifying whose card it is. So let's say in this example it's Chris's card. And the number is 1U54R. It doesn't really matter, right? We can enter any number we want. We're not creating a barcode, so we just need to uh, enter in the information and store it. So now hit submit. Goes to the list view, and there's the card you've created. So click on the American Airlines number, or excuse me, American Airlines card, and there's your card number and there's the American Airlines logo and it's as simple as that. Okay now let's go through a scenario of adding a uh, club card um, that it's currently not listed in our drop-down list of retailers. So right now we support about 150 different retailers, uh, which means we have logos and we know what type of barcodes are associated with the cards, so it makes adding the card a little bit easier. Um, but we also support a process for adding cards that we're not even aware of, right? So there's probably a lot more retailers out there that uh, we just aren't uh, aware of. So let's go through the process of adding one of those cards. So let's go to Add Card, and in this case, let's say uh, it does have a barcode. We support the option for cards without barcodes and with barcodes. So let's say yes. 
Now let's just scan a, uh, a random barcode here. Um, scans a barcode, recreates a barcode on screen. Now let's say we want to add, uh, let's just call this the um, Frugaloid Club Card. So it's just a made up card, it's not there. Okay, now let's go to the bottom and select other retailer not in list. Now it's going to ask you for uh, the retailer name. And let's just go ahead and type it in. Frugaloid Club Card. Now hit submit. Now it says, would you like to send this retailer name so it can be added to our list? The reason we ask this is that uh, if if you send us an email with the, the retailer name that you're wanting to add, we can do some investigation and make sure we've added it to our database so we can support this card in the future and, and make sure we have a logo associated with it. So let's say yes. Now you can just uh, select the Frugaloid card from the home screen. There's no logo with it uh, yet. Um, so it just provides the uh, default logo of none. Um, and then you can just uh, simply scan the barcode. So here we go. There we go, scan the barcode. So there's the keyring application. Pretty simple to use, great tool to leverage on your phone.